Alright guys, I just thought I would uh, take time and make a video and explain how the liquid cooled water chiller system in a commercial building works or any liquid cooled water chiller in the US. Um, so basically you have two water loops in a liquid cooled chiller system. You have the condenser water loop which is this up here going to the cooling tower and you have the chilled water loop that goes through the building to the various air handlers um, that have the chilled water coils in them to blow the cold air to air condition the building. And you have the chiller up here. So let's start with the condenser water loop. Um, <coughs> a liquid cooled chiller still has a condenser coil um, but instead of air flowing through it to cool it like in a normal um, air cooled chiller water flows through the condenser coil to cool it and then um, this red see I used red for the warm hot water going to the cooling tower and black for the cooled water coming back so you have your warm water usually about 90 degrees coming from the condenser and going out to the cooling tower and there it trickles down through uh, the media and a very powerful fan uh, sort of wicks the air up through the media evaporating some of the water and since it evaporates some of the water that evaporation cools the remaining water um, down below the outside ambient temperature so even if it's 100 degrees outside it's cooling that water down to about 77 78 degrees Fahrenheit and then which is a lot cooler than the 90 degree water coming to it so then it that water goes back and there are pumps that pump the water and it goes back to the condenser of the chiller and uh, the cooling tower has a float valve in it with water connected to it um, so when the water level drops from the evaporation it opens and lets more water in to compensate and meet the evaporation rate uh, let's say that these are three air handlers in the building that have chilled water coils in them um, then you have the chiller here and uh, the evaporator coil has of course the um, the chilled water loop going through it which is usually a closed loop not like this that has water coming into it as it evaporates some um, the chilled water loop is usually a closed water loop um, you can let water in and drain water out as you need to service pumps and clean filters and screens and stuff like that but this black represents the um, the chilled water which is usually around 43 degrees Fahrenheit somewhere around in there going to the coils and the air handlers and then you got the water returning to the chiller to be chilled again um, this water is usually around 50 degrees sometimes over depending on the load um, and that return temperatures that the air handlers are pulling in see this is what this represents and that's what this represents <coughs> there's also pumps to pump this water uh, as well so that is basically how a chilled water works chilled water system works liquid cooled chiller and that's how an, an, a cooling tower cools water and um, but yeah that's basically how a liquid cooled chiller system works and you have solenoid valves on these this is just the basics of it there's a whole lot more technical details that go into it but you have valves that the thermostat in each zone controls the air handler and the valve opens and closes to let the chilled water through and turn the blower on in the air handler to uh, get air conditioning and then once the thermostat satisfies it closes the solenoid valve on the chilled water line and turns off the blower in the air handler so next we will look at how a um, air cooled chiller system works so if you have any questions about this please leave a comment let me know uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed over and out